Tonight we continue our series with Intermountain Medical Center on your amazing brain. Our focus, epilepsy. Now you may think it couldn't happen to you, but in fact, one in 26 people in the U.S. will develop the disorder during their life. Good for you, Tassere Chin has more. Roughly 3 million people in the U.S. have epilepsy. It's defined as having chronic seizures, and anyone can have an episode in their lifetime. That's why the Epilepsy Clinic at Intermountain Medical Center has a wide range of treatment options for patients. Hold your head real still. 30-year-old Terika Moon had a full scholarship at the University of Utah and hopes of becoming a neurosurgeon. After three months of living in Utah, I had my first seizure. In a cruel twist of fate, none of that would come true after she developed epilepsy more than a decade ago. Hold your hands straight out in front of you. Now she averages 25 to 40 seizures a month. I had to look into a different way of life. I had to give up my dreams. 150,000 new cases of epilepsy are diagnosed each year nationwide. Epilepsy can happen to anybody at any time of life. It happens when there's an abnormal electrical discharge in your brain. Dr. Tanya Constantino at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute says we all have a 10% chance of suffering from a seizure, and that increases if you've suffered a stroke or brain injury. But a single seizure doesn't mean you have epilepsy. It takes two or more to diagnose the condition. Symptoms can vary, including temporary confusion, loss of consciousness or awareness, and psychic symptoms. A lot of people out there have epilepsy. They don't go around with it painted on their forehead. They hold down jobs. They raise their families. It's part of who they are, but it doesn't define them. And it doesn't stop Terika from being active and accomplishing her goals. In fact, she's remodeled at least two homes. I've learned how to do sheetrock, mud. Um, I've built a shed. I've done trucks, decking. I graduated from the University of Utah at the top of my class. The Epilepsy Clinic at Intermountain Medical Center Neurosciences Institute provides a wide range of treatment options for patients. Most seizures can be controlled through medication. Some patients have what's called the vagus nerve simulator implant. There's brain surgery and more. Terica has nearly exhausted her options, but credits Dr. Constantino for managing her symptoms. They haven't given up on me. There is definitely hope for the treatment of epilepsy. Now she's focused on helping others and what gives her joy. Even if it's today just the hallway, it's okay, I accomplished something, I worked. It took me 12 years to accept the fact that I was an epileptic. It makes me feel proud that I have given back. There is no known cause for epilepsy in six out of 10 people who are diagnosed, and that's the case for Terica. Tomorrow, more on your brain health. We've all had them. We focus on headaches. That's tomorrow. In the newsroom, Saray Chin, good for Utah. Now, the doctor says be aware of seizure safety. If someone's having a seizure, protect their head with a blanket or coat. Don't put things in their mouth or try to restrain them. Now, they could choke or further injure themselves. Time now for you.